So we start by folding the sheet in half, short sides together, making sure that the corners are carefully aligned. Once they are, go down to the center, push down on the fold, and then you will reinforce the fold with your butter knife. Rotate the paper, align the template with the folded edge, and make three very light pencil marks along the edge. Next, align your ruler with the three marks that you've just made, and using the butter knife, score the paper to create a sharp edge for your fold. Fold the paper carefully along the scored line. Rotate the paper. Once again, align the template with the folded edge. Three light pencil marks. Align your ruler with the marks. Score with the butter knife. And you'll follow the same steps. Aligning the template with the folded edge. Pencil marks, score and fold. And there's your accordion. But we need to trim the end sheets slightly. So align your template with the fold. Draw a line, which is where you will carefully cut using either scissors or a paper cutter or board shears. And you'll repeat that process for the other side. Now you have your finished accordion folded paper. To begin the process of covering the boards, the first thing you need to do is center your board on the cover paper. Make sure you're using the opposite side of the cover paper. The decorative side should be facing toward the table. Once it's centered, use your pencil to outline the board so you'll have a clear indication where to put the board once you've covered it with glue. Do this for both sides. So have one cover sheet waiting off to the side as you glue out your first cover. Make sure it's on a piece of newsprint. Put a small amount in the center and gluing from the center to the outer edges, pull your spatula out towards the newsprint to smear the glue evenly. Make sure you're holding the board so that it doesn't move. At a certain point, you'll notice that you'll need to actually put your fingertips down in a gluey area. Just make sure you're using what looks like a tiger's claw so your nails and not the pads of your fingers are on the board. Once the board's covered with glue, flip it over and align it carefully inside those pencil marks. And again, starting from the center, rub off to the sides. This will spread out any excess glue. If you have a little too much glue, here's the moment that it's going to come out. And now I'll do my second board. In order to get carefully mitered corners, you want to take your spacer, put it right up against the corner of your board, and you want to draw an equilateral triangle by eye. When you can see an equilateral triangle, you can see that I'm moving it back and forth. Once I see an equilateral triangle, I am drawing a line that will indicate where I need to cut. Whichever you start with, make sure you glue the opposite pairs. 
I'm starting with the long sides. Make sure as you pull the glue out that you're going right up to the board. You want glue to be covering that entire flap. Once it's covered with glue, make sure you fold over your newsprint. Now I'm leaning this up against the table, pushing down and moving it back and forth on the table to try to make sure that edge is sticking really carefully to the edge of the board. And then I'm rolling with my thumb, rolling, rolling, rolling along the whole side to make sure that that edge is glued down very carefully. For this critically important step, take your butter knife or fingernail and you need to pinch in these little triangular corners that are sticking out. If you don't pinch those in before you glue down the second set of sides, you'll end up with what looks like a little peaked corner on the edge of your covers. Right now I'm centering the template on the back cover. And once it is centered with an even border all around, I'm making four tiny marks, one at each corner. You only need to do that on the back cover, not the front cover. Obviously my book is blank, but you'll want to make sure that you line your book up as it will appear so that it's opening correctly. And then you can mark with two very, very light arrows, both the top of the, um, of the board and the top of your book. So that if in the gluing process, you end up moving your book around, you make sure you get it back to the right position before you glue. I'm making sure there's a piece of newsprint um, inside the first fold and behind the first fold. The gluing pattern is just the same as when you glued the covers. You're starting from the center and going out. It's extremely important that you hold your paper down tightly. You do not want your book to move. You don't want to accidentally pull the newsprint underneath and then end up dragging glue inside your book, so make sure you're holding carefully. Keep track of where that arrow is to show you where the top of your book is. And then you must remove your gluey newsprint right away. Get it off your work surface. Lift the paper carefully. Make sure you don't just pull out the gluey newsprint. I just double check to make sure the arrow is in the right direction. Move my book over and I'm opening that end sheet carefully and pulling it over and trying to center it within those four dots that I made. The front cover is a slightly different process. You'll be putting the glue on the book in the same way with the sheets of newsprint. However, when you attach the cover, you're going to be putting the cover on top of the book. Now you're going to take the front cover and you're going to be, make sure you're standing for this. You want to bring it over, flip it over and center it by eye so that it looks like it's lining up with the back cover. Don't press down hard until you've opened it and verified that it's centered. If it's not, you can make your adjustments there. And I'm not going to push down until I have newsprint in there. Now 
I can burn it. And just like before, you want to flip the book over and get to that back edge of the fold. And burnish that down carefully. And there's your accordion. And make sure before pressing you put a few sheets of wax paper, one between the front cover and the end sheet, and the other the back cover and the end sheet. And there's your accordion. <laughs>